Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, I look different. Yes, I am Jay Lee. Yes, this is Jay Lee's Corner. Thank you for tuning in. This is my review for Black and Crew. This is season six, episode 11. I feel like this Black and Crew was still going on for a long time, but you know, it is what, it is what it is. Yes, I got my hair done today. Yes, it looks different. Yes, we have the door clip, honey. We have the door clip. And I can't wait to put my hair up in a ponytail. Um, for those of you who've been following me for a while, I don't wear my hair down often because I hate having my hair down. But every once in a while, you know, I like to be fancy, you know, and go get it done. So, yeah, you know, get into it. It is what it is. Yes, it's on my hair. No, it's not tracks. And, you know, I have a really great stylist. Her name is Cookie. She does hear hair in... She does hair here in um, Michigan. Well, she does hair out in Southfield. She's been my stylist for, since I was in high school. So she's been my stylist since like 98. Yeah, like 98, 99, you know, for a long, long, long time. You know, back when I was a senior in high school or whatever. But yeah, so anyway, besides all of that stuff, let's get into this particular review. I, and I'm going to do this a lot, and it's not to be funny, but because I don't like hair, I hate when it's on me. So don't be like, that bitch thinks she fancy because she got her hair down. No, boo, boo If it was up, I wouldn't be doing it at all. So, you know, just deal with it. So, everyone is back from Korea, and they're going to the shop and everything, but nobody wants to talk about what happens to, what happened in Korea. You know, C's walking in first. They're like, hey, welcome back, welcome back. You know, how's the trip, how's the trip? And he like, you know, I don't even want to talk about it. Then, you know, Donna, Kit, Bay, walking, Ted all walk in. And they like, why are everybody like they went to a funeral? Like, what's going on? Like, why y'all acting all, you know, stank and dang dang? And they again, like, man, it was, it was like a funeral. You know, Sky was tripping, but we ain't gonna talk about that. You know, it was what it was. It was just a really bad experience or whatever. So from there, they said, well, one good thing did happen. You know, Bae's pregnant. Oh, yay, Bae's pregnant, yay. And, you know, it's that whole happy little moment. You know, C's bring up how he told Sky to take the day off because she tripping. Um, Bay admit that she has not even told Rob that she's pregnant yet, which is weird. Well, no, I think it's not weird because sometimes a woman will find out she's pregnant and they find the right time to tell the dude that she's pre that they're pregnant. So I guess it is what it is. But she says that, you know, when she came back, it was so much they had to talk about from her talking to her mom, finding her mom to the whole drama with Sky that she just hadn't found the right way or time to tell him. I get it. You know, it is what it is. But yeah, so we see that whole part. Um, we then see Kit like on her way to an ice skating rink saying that C's called her and said, you know, that she has to hurry up and come down to this ice skating rink. They have some like hockey players or NHL people who he need her to schmooze because they have some clients. And she's like, well, okay. So she come down there and turns out, no, it wasn't that. It's a date. He invited her there to go on a date. Yes, C's is back to Light and Cat. Um, kid. And I don't know why. Because, you know, even though he apologized to her in Korea saying that he just wasn't in the right headspace to be in a relationship with her because he had just broken up with Duchess and he was basically sewing his wild oats, snagging that tattoo dick all around. And, you know, I guess now they cool or whatever. So they were skating. It was a little cute little scene. And, you know, she admit they had a good time. And I think they do like each other. But you never know with these reality shows. Because I just think a lot of it, you know, we know a lot of it's fake and bullshit. And they had like a little picnic and everything. And then, you know, he admits that he kind of wants to basically date her again. And she like, I don't know about that because, you know, I like you and all. But, you know, Sky be tripping. And my thing is, it's not even that Sky be tripping. It's that Sky be tripping and C don't check that shit. And I feel like if your sus... If your sister, you know what I'm saying, is always talking shit about me and, you know, throwing up, throwing it up in my face that we used to mess around and telling you to put your dick in my mouth, if you can't check that bitch and tell her, look, sis, you can't talk about her like that because I like, you know, 
C's ain't checked her the way that he should check her ass. And for that reason alone, if I was kid, I wouldn't fuck with C's because my thing is you can't protect your sister more than you protect me because that ain't really your sister. You know what I'm saying? At one point in time, you have to say right is right and wrong is wrong. You know, when I do dumb shit, every once in a while, you know, sometimes I'm crazy or whatever. You know, my brother will be like, hey, sister, you know, you wrong. You know what I'm saying? He had that conversation with me. Um... We haven't had, had did that in a while because I don't do dumb stuff anymore. Um, but yeah, C's don't check her like he should check her, and for that reason alone, I wouldn't be rocking with C's. However, you know, she says she's gonna de deal with him anyway because he say that he's going to they're gonna keep it a secret. It's gonna be a secret rendezvous. They gonna not tell anybody and kind of mess around in private, which I get when you're trying to say you know just that you don't want other people in your business just yet. I get that, but if y'all just trying to mess around and have sex, y'all too old to be sneaking around having sex to avoid skydiving out. That's just stupid, and I think that's petty. And that also, to me, in my opinion, shows how C's not really ready for any real dating situation. If you can't be honest with Sky Monkey as to tell her to shut the fuck up and go calm down somewhere and eat a goddamn bagel. Uh, eat a bagel. I don't know where that came from. Anywho, uh, we next see um like oh shit and Jada's in the shop and Jada's basically asked him where he got the name Oh shit from. He like, Oh, a lot of different things, you know. I was caught, you know, I had I did a sex tape in a tattoo shop, you know, someone dared me to put my dick in somebody's somebody's cup and I did this all this random stuff where you probably be like, Oh shit, I can't believe so and so did that. Oh shit, did he really just do I get it. So you, I guess that's where it came from. You know, then as he's talking to her, his phone keep ringing and we see his Nikki calling and he keep not answering the line. He keep ignoring, ignoring, ignoring. He finally answers the phone. He like, what do you want? You know, we ain't talked in six months. Um, we broke up because she basically didn't appreciate me as a husband and she made me feel like I was basically a nobody. And, you know, she then says, well, hey, you know, me and whatever her, her son name is, we've moved from L.A. to Atlanta. So you moved the whole state. Like, you moved states and you just start telling me, okay, whatever. Um, he like, okay. And he's like, yeah, because Atlanta is the cheaper to live. She says, but, um, well, I don't, I don't know how to say this, but um, I'm pregnant. He like, what? When did that happen? And she was like, eight months ago. This half a call him to tell him that she is eight months pregnant. I said, bitch, eight months? Not four, not five. Eight? Bitch, you do. You're not even pregnant really, bitch. You do right now. You you can you can pop a baby out at eight months, technically. Technically, you could. And he like, what the fuck? You know, why would you tell me? So you was basically pregnant. Um, you knew you was pregnant when, when I left and we got into it or whatever. She said, no, I didn't know I was pregnant. Then I found out after you moved out. But I'm like, still, you ain't thought to call this man in the, in the past six months to say that you pregnant? Girl, bye. I'm, look, look. I feel like, <laughs> and this is, I'm, and I'm a female. I'm, I just don't see why people do that because my thing is if my brother called me and said yeah you know so and so me and so and so not even my brother if anybody who got a wife or somebody that they with for a long time say oh yeah me and so and so broke up six months ago and then she called me and said that she eight months pregnant this is my baby i would have been like you stupid mm -mm. dna test point blank until the period um especially with, with a person who has the kind of history or the kind of reputation that Nikki has. You know, people don't trust Nikki. You know what I'm saying? They said that she lied about different things, that she kind of has things. So she does not she does not she does not have the best track record is what I will say. And I don't think it's wrong for him to question who baby it is because you calling me say you eight months pregnant and we ain't talking to six months. How do I know that? You know how do I know it's, I, I don't know. I, it's just stupid. And he don't know how to process it either. She said you know how I miss you. I love you. I need you. Yeah you do need me because you might have a goddamn baby. Okay. And so he kind of just hang up the phone like, what the fuck? Because, of course, you know, he's him and he do what he do. And it was what it was. It was a small scene where it was with Alex. It was Kit. Uh, it was Alex, Kit, Walt, and Jada all out. And basically, it was a real little short scene. Jada feel guilty for how things ended between. I'm trying to get to the whole Sky situation. As you see, I'm rushing through everything else. Um, 
Jada feels bad about how things ended with her and Walt before because she wasn't ready for a relationship. So what she planned to do is hook him up with her friend. So her saying her friend come over, her name was Ashley. Basically, you know, she kind of just had them sit down and talk. They they vibe out. Walt do ask her to go out. And Walt like, yeah, she played me and I'm going to date her friend. Not knowing that was her plan. That was quick, fast, and a hurry. Um, we see Bay and Robert at dinner. And Bay is nervous because she wants to tell him that she's pregnant. So with the dessert, she had them bring dessert out. And <clears throat> under the, the dessert lid or whatever uh she had the ultrasound picture and it was so funny because rob didn't get what the picture was he didn't get that it was the ultrasound he kept looking like what is this and he was like hold it upside down and you know early on in the pregnancy the ultrasound do look like this uh, this, this black and white you know what i'm saying you if you don't know what it is if you don't realize what it is especially if you hold it upside down you might not get that it's a goddamn baby and he didn't get that it was a goddamn baby and then she was like surprise we're pregnant and he was like <laughs> stop playing <laughs> and he was like really and she was like yeah we're gonna have a baby and he was like really and she was like he was so excited you know he instantly it, he just you felt the excitement through the through the tv or whatever he got up oh my god i'm so happy he was happy she was happy it was a happy a happy goddamn scene you know it was what it was um <clears throat> then we see basically see selling the gang who went to korea they're gonna meet up with sky to talk to sky and I'm like, okay, whatever. And then we see, oh, shit, telling them, you know, well, she called me, Nikki called me and said that she eight months pregnant with my baby. Honey, <laughs> this is why I love Walt. This is because Walt said, that ain't your baby. <laughs> he said it in the confession, not in the scene or whatever. But I, I completely agree with the thought process of how do you know? Because he said, how does she, you know, you know, how does he know? If she not just doing this to get him back, like just to get attention or whatever, you know, how did he really know that one that she pregnant too was his baby? I completely agree. You know, he's just saying how, you know, he just, just doesn't know how he, sh if he should make it work with her and, you know, stay married and raise a family or just co-parent from afar. And I'm like, well, you know, that's completely true. He was not, he was going to basically just focus on a tattoo client he was doing. So we had a client come in who was getting a tattoo um, covered up of her ex's initials. People don't give people's names and initials tattooed on you. It's just never a good idea. I was engaged. The first time I was engaged, I was 19, 20 years old. And I got the dude name tattooed on my back. It was his name above a heart, no, above two hearts. And the hearts had like a padlock through them. It was oh my god, it was so it was a cute tattoo. It really was. And when we did not get when we did not make it, you know, we didn't make it. Uh, I had to get it covered up. So now I was covered up with a black panther. Well, his name was covered with a black panther. So now it's a black panther walking over the heart. It's it's really cute now. But don't get people's names and initial tattoo because it's just not smart. Okay. Um. So yeah. This is the whole thing I've been trying to get to. So, C's, Kit, Donna, Bay, Teddy, meet up at dinner with Sky. Sky was under the impression that only her and C was going to have a conversation, or only her and C's was having dinner. She did not know the rest of them was going to be there. Sky walked in. She sit the fuck down. And. They say, we're going to talk to you about the things that happened in Korea and how the shit wasn't cool. So, um, Donna Star first, just saying how, you know, you was really wilding and I'm used to you acting crazy. But in North Korea, in Korea, you, I think you were actually in South Korea. In Korea, you was, it's a, it was a whole different kind of crazy. Like, I don't know what was going on. You know, you were just wilding too much and we didn't know what to expect from you. She then say, does anybody else have any real issues? Because this bitch, Donna, issues is petty. Okay, that's strike number one. You know, she then, when Bay starts talking, she called Bay a con artist. What you got to say, con artist? And then says, you know, you fake, whatever, whatever. So then her and Bay kind of going at it back and forth. And Bay saying, you know, I thought you was my friend. I thought you cared about me. I thought you wanted to be there for me. You know, I can't believe that you would call, call me a con artist. I, like, I thought, and she does not, can I ask some more, Rose? She not paying her any attention to call. Okay, that pissed me off. Then Kit kind of flip out and say, you know, um, you don't respect nobody. So, you know, if you don't respect us, we don't have to respect you. What you did in Korea was totally out of line. It was some fuckery and some bullshit. And, you know, she basically calling. Oh, my 
God, my hair got me crazy. She basically calling Sky out of her shit. And Sky still like, ha, 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 ha. And she's laughing like as if it's nothing. She don't care. You know, she's like, y'all are some fake ass bitches. You know, y'all are some petty ass hoes. You know, you guys are the are the, the Korean hoes. All this shit. She's like just talking major cash shit. You know, she's saying, you know, fuck you, Donna, because you know me in real. You know, we really cool. And you out here with these bitches. And you picking their sides. You know, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And she just, she's going. Rude, mean, disrespectful, just not giving a fuck. And okay, she doing that. You know, she's still laughing as if it's a joke. See, say, let me talk to you outside. He pull her outside and you know, and he like, you know, what's up with you, what's going on? <sighs> this bitch starts crying. You know, they don't know what I'm going through. You know, I'm just so hurt. You know, my son want to fight me. They don't know how that feels. And I'm just going through some things. And, you know, um, they don't know what I'm going through. And I feel like I shouldn't have to be sensitive in front of them. You know, fuck them. They don't know me. Da, 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 da. She's saying all this shit. I'm not done. You know, see, saying, okay, you know what? Now it makes sense. That's why she wilding out. You know what I'm saying? Sky really hurt. You know, she's really emotional. She don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, she, You know, you should tell them what's going on so they can kind of understand where you're coming from. You know, she then called back in. No, he then also says how he, if she wants, he will reach out to Genesis to try to see if he can smooth some things over because if she feels some kind of way. You know, she go back in. Basically tells them, you know, when I went to go see my son, he didn't want to fuck with me. He tried to fight me. It's hard for me. I'm sorry. You know, I'm going through things and it's hard for me and I need y'all to forgive me. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. Kit, Donna, they all feel bad oh my god i can't believe it you know we didn't know that you was going through that stuff you know we didn't know we didn't know we didn't know you know you need to talk to us when you're going through shit bitch bullshit i cost look that whole scene pissed me off so bad solely because you can't tell me because you got beef with your son that you gave up for adoption all these years ago because your son don't want to fuck with you you so distraught and so out your mind that you are literally mean rude and disrespectful to everyone around you who've been around you this whole time i would say i would say sky fuck you and anyone who look like you. Because my thing is, you, you talk about what you going through. And Bay was scared her daddy had killed her mama. Bitch, she going through things. Donna ass, basically homeless. She going through things. Kit, I don't know what the fuck Kit do. You know, um, Teddy brothers are in prison. We, we ain't heard about Teddy brother in prison being since like episode two. We ain't, we ain't gonna talk about that. You know, Ted going through stuff with his brothers in, in the jail system. Seeds be going through stuff with his baby mama. With, with, with Duchess and all the other bullshit. Everyone has things they have to deal with. And bitch, you gonna come on this goddamn TV and try to milk your goddamn story as a reason she was a complete bitch calling people kind artists, trying to make Bay proof what she is, saying that you don't even believe she's pregnant, you know, calling Donna whores, calling Kit whores, telling C's to go put his dick in, in, in Kit's mouth. Fuck you, Sky, and anyone who look like you. It pissed me off to the highest point of passivity simply because I hate when anyone who is going through things try to make that as an excuse when they do fucked up ass behavior that's the reason people make so many mistakes now because they try to say oh my god i was just so sad about what's going on in my life that i didn't care about how i treated other people bullshit point blank and period i would have told sky you know what sky you going through whatever okay go through on your goddamn own i don't want to hear shit about it because my thing is when i came to you if i was if i was bad when i'm coming to y'all about my mother missing and I think my father killed my mother. You put your bullshit ass um, inside, <clears throat> inside feelings. <coughs> I need some water. Over what I had going on. What Don, I mean, what Sky had going on with her son wasn't any worse or any better or any, 
any more trauma filled than what Bae was going through with her mama. It was the same thing, a fucked up ass situation. So the fact that she tried to milk it and cry, and the bitch was crying on camera like, oh my God, I'm just going through things and y'all didn't know. That gives no one any reason to do anything fucked up. You can't, You it, it, it doesn't. And I'm almost pissed off that they all kind of just let her off the hook. That's why Sky act like that because they allow her to. C's don't check her. Teddy don't. Teddy don't check her. Donna don't check her. Bay don't check. No one checks Sky. You know who the only one who checked Sky and got her her goddamn feelings? Genesis. And I'm not saying that Genesis wanted to fight <coughs> his mama. Is the right thing. Hold on, y'all. I'm not saying Genesis wanting to fight Sky is karma or what she get or okay because of how she treat other people. What I'm saying is he see how you been acting and he don't like it so he don't fuck with you. And the same way if I was Donna or Bay or Kit, I wouldn't fuck with you either. I might and I might try to fight you. Okay, if I was Bay and I wasn't pregnant, me and Sky would have been straight up fighting in Korea point blank period sky get away with too much bullshit and it pissed me it pissed me off that they like catering the show around her and she getting it to me sky is becoming jocelyn hernandez on a real tip she's becoming jocelyn because she's consistently doing dumb shit and being rewarded for it by getting more camera time you acted a plum d fool out the goddamn country you're gonna come back to the states and then start crying talking about because my son don't fuck with me bitch so what Grow the fuck up. Be a goddamn adult. If he don't fuck with you, that don't mean that you go and fuck with other people. <sighs> and that's all I had to say about that. I'm sorry. This, you know what I'm saying? People go through things. You know, people, I had a cousin who, when she was pregnant, she was pregnant. My aunt was going through, had cancer. My aunt was literally dying while my cousin was pregnant with her child and my cousin didn't treat not not anybody like a piece of shit because she was pregnant with her first child and her mother was passed away from cancer so my thing is sky saying my son don't fuck with me and i'm sad so i don't treat, treat people fucked up bitch fuck you you can't do that shit at all you can't use your own um life issues and take things out on other people that's the equivalent when people be oh i'm so mad that you know what i'm saying my girlfriend broke up with me i'm gonna go kill i'm gonna go kill some people oh but i did it because i was sad because something else happened so I, I did something bad but it was for this reason because i was hurt bitch fuck you and like i said anybody that looked like you get on my god it was oh i was so mad about that i'm sorry okay yeah so, you know, that was it. They forgave her, but I didn't. I, I still don't follow her on, 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 on Instagram. And I'm not going to she can, until she can fix her goddamn attitude. Fucking Johnson Hernandez ass clone. Um, next thing we see is everybody at the shop. They laughing, talking, and chilling out or whatever. And then, oh, she get a phone call from Nikki. And Nikki, like, she's crying. She sounds like she's in distress. And she's saying, you know, oh, my God, you know, something's wrong. I'm having these pains. You know, I don't know what's going on. You know, my doctor said I need to go to the hospital, but I can't drive because I'm in too much pain. And he's like, well, you need to, you know, call the ambulance. And I chuckled a little bit because I'm like, you called him. He in New York. You in Atlanta. He can't do shit for you in Atlanta. What you should have did was call your doctor then call 911 and then said I'm waiting for the ambulance to come get me but this is what's happening but calling him as if he around the corner and he can come pick you up was stupid in my personal opinion so of course he like oh my god what's going on you know calm down you know be calm it's okay you know call 911 you gotta go out of the ambulance and of course the damn phone hang up phone hang, hang up he gets her back on the line and she's still crying or whatever and then we see C say okay you know I can take you to the airport so then him and C's leave for him to go to the airport so he can get a quick flight to Atlanta one thing I can say about oh shit is he did love Nikki 
and he loves his children. And I think him hearing her in distress and thinking, you know, this is my child. I have to get to her. I can't do nothing but respect that. Because we remember, oh, shit, used to be a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? He did not used to be as responsible and as thoughtful as he seems to be. As he seems to be not with Nikki, but it was what it was. And then the last scene that we see. Very sweet. Um, Bay and Rob are like, he takes her to Times Square or whatever. And he basically, he proposes to her. You know, I'm not going to even drag that out. You know, it's re really, really cute how he did it. You know, he said how much he loved her and how special she was. It was a really great speech he gave or whatever. And he proposed and she said yes. But I wasn't surprised that she got engaged because Sky had posted a picture of the ring on her Instagram a couple months ago. So they, I did not know she was pregnant. They didn't show that on the Instagram. And she, I didn't even think to see that she looked pregnant. Because it must have been right after she got engaged. Because she was, like, Sky was, like, in a makeup chair. And Bay walked in and she showed the ring or whatever. So I knew she was that she was engaged. So that part did not surprise me. And that was basically the end of the episode so yeah i mean the episode to me was a great episode but that whole sky shit i mean it pissed me off y'all know sometimes i don't like cussing as much as i cuss in this particular episode but sky pissed me off okay pissed me off i can't stand for anyone to use their own personal issues as a reason to treat people in a bad way or do something bad and then use that as an excuse i hate it it gets on my goddamn nerves so other than that <laughs> i am jaylee this is jaylee's corner peace <laughs>